very cool segment right now, Andy. Uh, every spring law firm BLG honors the best and brightest in Canadian university sports. The BLG Awards are tonight. Our next two guests, a couple of basketball players, are among the eight nominees. There are four male, four female. Uh, Philip Scrub is from the national champion Carlton Ravens. Justine Colley is a four-time Atlantic Conference scoring champ from St. Mary's. Uh, thanks for coming in this morning. You guys were telling me you got into town over the weekend. You've been going from event to event to mm -hmm. event, but we appreciate the time you're making for us today. Um, Justine, this is your second nomination, right? I mean, what does it mean to get nominated twice? Well, I mean, the group of athletes that they have here, they're a phenomenal group, and just to be in the same conversation as them is a huge honor for myself. Um, I mean, I can't really put into words the event the BLG puts on is amazing. They do an amazing job, and they really treat us like royalty. It's been a great weekend so far. That's cool. How about you, Philip? How's it been for you? Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, coming to university, I never expected to be doing something like this, uh, coming all the way up to Calgary and uh, being with these great athletes. So uh, it's been an honor to represent my university, and uh, I'm just lucky to be here. Um, you, uh, Philip, I'm going to stay with you here. Your university, um, your, your team this year, um, not only the national champs, but also beat a pretty good NCAA school. Uh, tell us about your season, because you guys were playing real well. Yeah, uh, we had a first, uh, good first couple games uh, against NCAA teams, and uh, we were surprised to beat them, and uh, they ended up having a pretty good season. But uh, uh, it was an up-and-down season, and um, we went through uh, a couple rocky phases, but um, in the end, uh, everything kind of worked out. Yeah, and you're, you're not going to go for the NBA draft this year, right? You're going to come back to school, is that right? Uh, yeah, I yeah. decided pretty early I was coming back. I Wh don't know. Why? I'm just curious. Um, well, honestly, I didn't think I had a great chance of being drafted. Okay. And, <laughs> sure. uh, I could get a lot better in university, so that was the main. Improve a little bit more, right? Yeah. Also finish your degree, I exactly, bet, too, yeah. right? And Justine, how about you? I know you're both in commerce. Mm -hmm. um, Justine, talk about it. It must be tough to balance all the schoolwork you got to do and of course all the court work you have to do, Yeah, right? definitely. I mean, it's a full-time job being a student athlete. Yeah. And then you plus you have school on top of that. So, I mean, it makes it a real challenge to make sure that you manage your time wisely so that you can get everything covered in your days, for sure. Uh, so, Philip's coming back for another season. Are you, are you done now? Or? Yeah, I okay. played my fifth and final year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what's next for me is a work opportunity with RBC. Nice. And uh, we'll see what the future holds. Okay, and, and you were just playing at the national level recently, right? Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, great opportunity with the national team. They have a great group of girls, obviously a large uh, athlete pool to choose from. I was lucky enough to be one of the 12 that they picked to go and qualify for Turkey this upcoming summer. Nice. Um, but yeah, I decided to take a little bit of a break from basketball and, you know, kind of refresh and uh, take a little mental and physical break. So I'm probably going to get back into it. Yeah. I mean, we all have the itch to play basketball. So, I mean, who knows what the future holds. Uh, how about you, Philip? You know, final year of school, and then what? What's down the road for you? Uh, I guess we'll see what happens after yeah. this year. Uh, hopefully, play professional somewhere. Uh, not sure where yet, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'll talk to my coach after the season. Yeah, <laughs> let's see where you go. Wherever you can play pro, that'll be fun, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, yeah. good luck, Justine and Philip. Uh, the BLG Awards, by the way, are presented tonight at the Jack Singer Concert Hall. Our uh, Tara Sloan's co hosting the show with Tim McCall from Sportsnet. The award show uh, is being recorded tonight. It will air on May 15th on Sportsnet 360. We have all kinds of information on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Uh, thank you so much both for squeezing us in. I know you guys probably have a ton more things to do before the event tonight, but good luck to both of you. Thank you. Yeah, nice thank to meet you, you both, nice too. To you too. Nice to meet you, and good luck to all of our nominees, actually, for this year in the BLGO.